I'm a simple man. When I see a movie trailer featuring a one-man army taking out a bunch of Nazis and completely eviscerating them, I can't help but get giddy. I can't help but be a little excited, and that's exactly what Sisu's about. But alas, I only have a couple theaters near me, and none of them played this film when it hit theaters, so I had to wait patiently, biding my time, hoping to one day watch these Nazis get their butts kicked again. And that time was a couple days back. I saw the film, I want to talk about it briefly. Let's begin. The reason I get to talk about this movie today is because awesome YouTube join member Master Sergeant requested it. You can do the same on patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies or via the join button right here on YouTube. Become a member at a certain tier level and the world's really your oyster. With that out of the way, let's start killing some Nazis. When I saw the trailers for this flick, they advertised it as John Wick meets Inglorious Bastards. And I thought to myself, that's a match made in heaven. I love both of those films. And then I fired this puppy up and saw it was only an hour and a half. And again, it was like Christmas had come early. I love when movies don't overstay their welcome. If your premise is basic, keep the movie tight and to the point, which thankfully this film does. Now I went hard on the positives right away here, but I want to point something out. I didn't love this movie. I also didn't hate it. I, I, it's definitely better than it is worse, but there's a big part of me at this point, since I've seen a ton of movies, a stupid amount of movies, this kind of seems like one of those flicks that you could point to and go, was this generated by AI? Because basically every aspect of this movie has been pulled from others. You have a one-man army, an unstoppable killing machine, this time a Finnish soldier who's killed over 300 Russians by himself. I mean, the guy's nickname when translated is The Immortal. The AI even threw a cute dog companion into the mix for him to protect here and there. The film's incredibly over the top. We have CG planes crashing, we got explosions, we got blood spraying. It's all very fun, it's all very silly, and it's all, of course, very implausible. And that's where I get a little bit down on films like this, whereas John Wick is certainly extreme, and the later ones are complete cartoons. I still enjoy them on a superficial level. But that first one really works for me, because even though he is still getting out of situations no mere mortal could, there is a very compelling narrative there. There's a revenge story aspect to it. Where in this movie, we have an ex-soldier, a lone wolf, who's trying to get away from war, find some gold, and now he's just trying to survive with it. A small band of Nazis picks up his scent. They want the gold for themselves. The war is basically over, it's winding down, and the Nazis are going to be killed regardless. So they also have to cash in and get the hell out of Dodge. The film tries to get some sympathy because there's a bunch of Jewish women that are being held captive by these assholes. So that's kind of like the prize at the end. Will he be able to save them? Well, of course we know, yes because this is a very formulaic film. All that aside, let's talk about what works. The action, of course, is solid. A lot of people are gonna watch a film like this, not really care about the story, not care about the substance. That's perfectly fine. Visually, it looks great. It has shades of Wonder Woman as far as the contrasting colors go. If you're looking for over-the-top violence and extreme situations, there's no way a normal person can get out of, this film is full of them. Now, again, for someone like myself, I prefer the original Rambo, First Blood. That film, on top of having a killing machine who's been trained over many years, also has some really good heart at the end of the film. It really puts you in the mindset of Stallone's character, whereas with Sisu, I, I just, I don't get that with this dude. It, he really is just kind of like a weathered, older guy who's pissed at the world and he wants to cash in. I can't imagine there was a huge budget for this film either, but they're definitely utilizing what they had. It's all up on the screen. But most of the settings, the backgrounds, they're, they're pretty flat, they're pretty stock. It's mostly empty, deserted areas, dirt roads. We have a pond scene that's pretty cool where he's underwater, like he's Jaws taking guys out from below. And then, of course, the hilarious airplane scene to close things out. Just atrocious CG. It's like a video game cutscene. It's like The Flash 2023. Oh, and it's also doing the thing I've been seeing a lot of lately, which is putting chapters during the movie like I'm reading a fucking book. There, there's seven or eight chapters in this thing, and they come up every 15 minutes. It's, it's like, I don't need chapters. Why? Bottom line, movie's not doing anything original or very creative, but we do have some fun Nazi killing going on. We have a stock hero who's a man of little words, and, you know, he uses his actions to, to speak his mind. And it's an easy hour and a half watch. So if you got nothing better to do, and you've seen some of those other movies I mentioned, 
not a bad time. Well, there you have it, my review of Sisu. I hope I'm saying that right. I looked up the pronunciation, but it's possible I'm still wrong. And by the way, the word when translated means tenacious, grit, stoic, determination, hardiness, you know, really strong manly words. And that's definitely what this film is projecting. Some real alpha status stuff going on here. All right, thanks again, Master Sergeant, for recommending this flick. Thank you to all Patreon and YouTube joint supporters. The, the help is very appreciated. I'm a one-man operation. I do the editing, the filming, all that stuff. So any support you can give, it's, it's very welcome. Let me know if you saw this film, if I'm wrong, and this thing is absolutely peak, 10 out of 10, awesome action flick. Or if you're like me, it's better than it is worse. It's somewhere in a, a seven and a half range out of 10 if I was to put an arbitrary score on it. Leave a comment, like the video, subscribe if you're new here. I post movie content every single week. We keep it light, we keep it fun. And hopefully, I see you next time. Take care.